And police are expanding their search for a second suspect in a stabbing spree in Saskatchewan, Canada. Ten people were killed and 18 wounded in that spree. Now authorities are urging residents to be vigilant and take precautions, even asking some communities to shelter in place. Let's bring in ABC News correspondent Marcus Moore live in Saskatoon for more on this. Marcus, police say that they found one suspect dead, but they're still looking for his brother. So what's the latest? Well, Diane, uh, we know that the, the search is still going right now, and uh, they have, we've gotten a sense that they've expanded the search because for a while they were believing that Miles Sanderson, 30-year-old Miles Sanderson, was in the town of Regina, which um, is about an hour and a half from where we are right now. But the police chief came out yesterday and said that they no longer believe that he's in that area. So it gives you every sense that they're, uh, they believe that he could be anywhere at this point and um, they're continuing to search not only on the ground but also um, in the air as well for any sign of Sanderson. Uh, so what do we know about these suspects right now? Well, Diane, they are, they're both brothers. Uh, you mentioned Damian Sanderson. He was 31 years old. Uh, he and his brother Miles, who is still on the run uh, this morning, uh, they were both suspects in this, uh, this stabbing, this mass stabbing that happened on Sunday morning. Uh, Ten people killed, 18 wounded. And uh, all we know about them is that they are siblings. We also know, according to uh, authorities and, and records here, that um, Miles has a lengthy criminal record. And um, again, police are saying that, that, that he's uh, armed and dangerous. Uh, that's all we really know at this point. A lot of questions have uh, come up about what exactly uh, was the motive behind the stabbings. And at this point, authorities uh, have not released any of that information, if they, um, if they even know it at this point. Uh, so certainly a, a number of unanswered questions about uh, how this happened, how did the, the Sandersons uh, allegedly stab so many people. And then the obvious question uh, of why. And, and Diane, in the midst of all of that, police have been sending out um, alert messages on cell phones and also television and, and radio uh, telling people uh, to be on the lookout. And if they have any information on where they might be, to report that information. Uh, early on, as you know, they did put out a vehicle description uh, for a Nissan SUV, a Nissan Rogue. Uh, authorities uh, have said that they are still looking for that vehicle, that perhaps that's what Sanderson uh, could be in as he's uh, still on the run. Uh, but uh, outside of that, uh, no other information, Diane, on, on what this was about and how much progress they've been able to make in finding him. Again, they thought that he was in Regina. It turns out he's not there. Uh, there was also the report of a possible sighting on the James Smith Cree Nation Reservation, uh, where most of the stabbings happen. Uh, police responded there. They surrounded a home and searched for several hours, but still found no sign of Sanderson. So uh, there's every sense that he could be anywhere this morning. Now, they had already said uh, that Sanderson was armed and dangerous. So why these new warnings now to shelter in place? Well, uh, Diane, because at this point he could be he could be anywhere. Uh, I get the sense that they don't know exactly where he is. Now, it is important to note uh, that in any case like this, uh, police do uh, have a lot of information that they don't relay to the public uh, for their own advantage as they try to track someone down. Uh, but you know, it, it, in terms of of why they've been putting out these messages and, and when, um, uh, we don't know. Uh, specifically their, their strategy, uh, but they certainly do want people to be uh, on the lookout and remain vigilant uh, because they simply have not gotten him into custody and they say he's dangerous. All right, Marcus Moore, we appreciate you staying on this for us. Thanks, Marcus. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.